The last year has been challenging for everyone and especially tough and frightening for families with a seriously ill child. They felt even more isolated and exhausted after more than a year of shielding, which has brought many to breaking point. A single mum to three children, one of whom has a life-limited condition, called our helpline. She was desperate. She was sleep deprived and awaiting assessment for universal credit. She only had a few pence left in her purse. It's hard to imagine what would have happened if she hadn't asked for our help. Thanks to your support, you've helped us be there for more families this year, helping them to get the support they need so that they're able to make the most of every moment they have together. Our generous funders have helped us to weather the pandemic too, delivering an emergency COVID response to the sector and to the growing numbers of seriously ill children and families. We've been a lifeline to families through our helpline and our family hub, and helping those with money worries too through our hardship and bereavement funds. We're indebted to our corporate partners, including Hobbycraft, John Lewis and Premier Foods and others, who've raised much needed cash for our work with families and the UK's 54 children's hospice services they rely on locally. And thanks to agile funding responses from the government, NHS, trusts and foundations, who've helped develop special COVID response funds to help charities like ours, we've been able to deliver more for families in their darkest hour. But we've had some tough financial knocks too, not least the lack of income through events like our ball being cancelled and the future funding landscape looking so uncertain. We know that the impacts of this pandemic will be felt for many years to come. We've got an enormous task ahead to deal with the injustice dealt to families caring for seriously ill children and to support the vital frontline services they rely on. These families face a triple jeopardy. Demand for children's palliative care is growing. The number of seriously ill children has trebled in the last 20 years and we expect it to continue to grow. The highest prevalence is in the most socially and economically deprived areas of the population. There are some amazing dedicated and specialist professionals and services that provide vital care in the NHS, in the community and those delivered by social care and children's hospice charities. But supporting this growing demand and the current workforce shortages mean that services are stretched. The health of families caring for very sick children is also at risk. 84% of families' health is impacted negatively, especially by pain and sleep disturbance. Worse still, mothers of these children are much more likely to develop serious physical and mental health problems, including depression and hypertension. And shockingly, these mums are 50% more likely to die prematurely than other mothers. On top of this, many families struggle to get the care they need. Access to out-of-hours care is a postcode lottery, where support at night and the weekends is the exception rather than the rule. Many of the health and social care services they rely on in hospital and at home are still woefully underfunded. And there's the added economic cost too of caring for a serious ill child at home, where parents often have to give up work, leaving families with additional money worries. Now, if we fail to support them now, more and more families will reach breaking point. All of this is preventable, and you can help us make sure that no family has to suffer through their child's short life alone, but instead can make the most of every precious moment they have together. Our urgent to-do list for the coming year includes growing our family support hub so we reach more families using new digital innovations to grow our impact, Campaigning for properly funded 24-7 care and ending the postcode lottery of out-of-hour support. Unlocking barriers, preventing some families from black, Asian and minority ethnic backgrounds from getting the vital support they need. Supporting more grieving families through our Butterfly Fund gifts. Helping children's palliative care services locally to build back better from the pandemic. Educating professionals from beyond the world of children's palliative care on having difficult conversations with families about their child's prognosis. Now, it's only possible with your help that we can realise these bold ambitions to tackle the injustice dealt to families, caring for the UK's most seriously ill children. Thank you.